Okay, we're back with TSP, and let's see if I can get this right. Brian Miller and Deidre Mueller, right? You got it. Good morning. <laughs> How are you doing today? Good. All Hi. right, welcome to TSPN. Thank you. And you're from the Amador Wine Growers Association. Mm -hmm. And is this the the little private uh, group that uh, grows uh, that uh, buys grapes and then processes on your own? Oh no, this is an organization of the grape growers. This is the big one. The big mm -hmm. one. Okay. One hundred members. You guys actually make. Uh, Good wine. I, I know some people in that other group. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, now there's the Vintners Association, and then there's the Amador Growers, Wine, wine Growers, growers. Wine mm -hmm. Growers Association. And uh, are you a, affiliated with some wineries up there? Oh, casually. It's a small community. We're all friends. Uh -huh. Which which ones do you represent? Uh, <sighs> well, I actually don't uh, represent or work with any of the wineries. I am on the board of the Wine Growers. Okay. And. Uh, Deirdre and I run the events, the Friday night tasting at the fair. Mm -hmm. And what are you going to be doing at the fair? Oh. Is Friday, Friday night a little uh, little activity for you? Oh, a little activity. So we're going to be setting it up, and um, every year we get about 40 wineries or more, mm -hmm. and we have food and wine pairing, and basically come and they taste wines from all over Sierra Foothills. So the wines that are there have to go into the amateur wine competition. Now, are these just amateur county wines, or can mm -hmm. they come from El Dorado County? El Dorado, Calaveras. Foothills. 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 Okay. So it's a great opportunity to taste everything that's coming in from outside the area. Mm -hmm. So if you want to go wine tasting, you say, hmm, do I want to try that county, that area? Mm -hmm. Come to the wine tasting and taste a few of them right there. And it does work. I was up in Amador City a couple weeks yeah. ago, and, and we tasted some there that um, we said, well, we need to go to that winery. And some of them, one of them was actually over in Murphy's area. Now, mm -hmm. we have, that's considered Foothills, I guess, right? Yes, that's yeah. Calaveras County. So right. we cover quite a wide range, yeah. Now, these are wines that all went through the um, actual uh, wine uh, judging at the Amador County that's Fair? That's right. On June 2nd at the Amador County Fair, that's already taken place, the wine judging. Uh, and those wineries then qualify to uh, participate in this tasting. And uh, 40 of them will be there. Now, the, the grape growers sponsor this. Um, mm -hmm. It's a separate entity from the Vintners Association, that's though, correct. correct? That's right. So what, why grape growers here and Vintners over there? <laughs> Some people might want to say, well, what's the difference? Well, that's, uh, you want to speak well, to that? Well, this is the Grape Growers' only annual event, and it's a fundraiser for the organization. The Vintners Association has the two big events that you might be familiar with, the big crush and behind the cellar door. Uh, we don't want to talk about them too much. Then. No. <laughs> what, what so do one you, makes the wine and one grows the wine. That's right, but the, obviously the, the Vintners wouldn't be around unless the, uh, the they Grape Growers were there. They work together. Sometimes they are exactly, <laughs> one winery will have both memberships. Okay. Yeah. And what do you do with the proceeds from the, the fundraiser, the big fundraiser you have at the fair? That's uh, the money that the growers use to uh, promote, uh, educate, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, serve their uh, members. And, and donate. There's a large uh, charity mm -hmm. uh, portion of that as well. So, for instance, in 2013, they're going to start up scholarships again for the local high school students mm -hmm. going into agriculture, things like that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about some of the wines that you brought in today that'll be there. People might have an interest, and in, uh, there's still tickets available, I'm assuming. There's mm -hmm. still tickets available. Um, and it, it is absolutely packed there, but, <laughs> it, but it's so much fun. <laughs> yeah, it's outdoors, so it's very, it's nice. It's on the lawn area. And uh, up, we're near, up near the big building by the entrance exactly, of the Exactly, where the yeah. arbors are, so it's That's a beautiful right. setting. Mm -hmm. And um, it does get crowded, but not too crowded. Things flow pretty well. So. It, it is pretty full, but the thing is you can't walk two steps without seeing somebody you know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> can't help you with that. All right. <laughs> that slows the pace down a bit. All right, let's talk about some wine here that you brought in. Now, these were grabbed at random. They will all be there, these four wineries and 36 others. And this is uh, Damas. Damas, Damas Vineyards. Damas Vineyards. Fiddletown. And where's Damas located at? Well, uh, the, their vineyards are in Fiddletown. Uh, they don't have uh, a tasting room, though, so that's not going to be on anybody's map. In fact, uh, that's the case with uh, three of these. So We thought it would be a little more interesting to bring you in the unknowns that you could actually taste yeah. there. Mm -hmm. So where would you buy one, something like this in local stores that carry mm -hmm, it? Mm -hmm, yeah, there's mm -hmm. a sh um, the Amador 360 shop has them. You can also find some of them at Amador. Uh, the vintage market mm -hmm. carries some, and then Brian's in Pokerville. And what else do we have here? This is uh, Legendre. So I'm this glad is you said that. <laughs> <laughs> Legendre Cellars, tiny little winery in Fiddletown. Again, not open to the public, no tasting room, but uh, you can find those wines at local restaurants. Or you can find them shops. Friday night. You sure can. All right. And most of these have gotten awards. That's mm -hmm. the other thing. Is that when you're there tasting? 
Um, Amador County and the Foothills brought home over 300 boards from the State Fair. And a lot of these, you, uh, you'll taste some gold winners at the Amador Friday Night Dine Tasting. What is the vintage, what is that, a rastre is what they're calling it? Very that? good. It's a blend. You have a, Syrah, Grenache, Mouvedre. A Patinsu. blend of five different wines, though. Yeah. It's unusual. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it makes for a lovely, lovely wine. You know, we should be doing this like the radio and tasting them. If it, oh, like yeah. So that's, early, that's but we'll <laughs> come back a little later. <laughs> All right, and we have Fiddletown Cellars here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is your classic old vine Zinfandel. Is this another one that you cannot get? Um, right. No local at any winery. Room. You have to be at some of the selected locations. Mm -hmm. right? And they'll be pouring also. And finally... Driven. Oh, Very. Driven. You can go to Driven exactly. and get the wine. Exactly. You, you can drive be. to Driven and get their wine. You so. can. Yeah. Dr and we thought it would be Ferrari. fun. So they're up in Shenandoah Valley. And again, these are uh, a Primitivo and a Zin, mm -hmm. which are very uh, representative of what's grown and available in this area. Okay. Do we know what time the event is on Friday night? Mm -hmm. It starts at 7 p.m. Though mm -hmm. we let people in around 6.30. And it goes to about 9 p.m. Get your tickets at the fairground or online? At the fairground online. We're making them getting it online. Okay. Because then you uh, have them in hand. It does sell out. Can you stick around to the end of the show and we can talk about it a little bit more? You bet. Sure. Okay. Brian Deidre, thank you very much. Thank you. And we're going to go to a break and then come back with uh, one of our uh, favorite um, men with no hair, Ernie Burgess. <laughs> You're watching Amador County's number one news and sports leader, TSPN.